We've made a couple of videos here on eFix now regarding dado trunking and some of the regulations that electricians need to think about when working with it. In this video, we're going to zoom in on the dado trunking itself and look at some of the features and innovations that are included in this excellent Marco Elite compact dado trunking from Atcor. First of all, I'm sure you'd agree, it just looks great, doesn't it? It's got this lovely curving lid at the top and the bottom. It's a three compartment trunking, meaning that you've got space for mains cables going through the middle here, uh, perhaps data in the top section, and maybe other telecommunications in the bottom or even safety systems that might require segregating. But what other features does it boast? Well, it's available in the pure white finish that we've got here. It's also available in light gray or charcoal finishes, meaning that it can be used in different ways to comply with DDA requirements. And it can also come with an antimicrobial finish as well, which is really reassuring in these days of global pandemics. One of the things I love about this product is how much thought's gone into making it easy for the electrician to install. Let me give you just three examples here. Number one, the back is pre-punched with slotted holes every 200 mil to allow for easy mounting and to allow for a little bit of easy adjustment after fixing. Number two, of course, even when we're running data cable in the top section, we still need to drop through the separating barriers here. And to make that easier, there are these little pre-punched knockouts every 150 mil, and they can simply just be pressed out and the cable passed through to the waiting enclosure beneath. And finally, number three, and this is so simple, but just absolute genius. If you look at the bottom compartment here, it's always a bit of a pain to install cables in, isn't it? Because you can end up trying to keep the cables in with one hand and then put the lid on with the other and then get your hand back for future use at some point after you've put the lid on. However, the lid on the Elite Compact is designed to hinge on its bottom connection and leave a gap here that you can install cables into. And the lid will support the cables before closing it up. It's so much better than trying to wedge in bits of cardboard or little sections of lid that need to come off as the final lid goes on. And if you look closely at the way that bottom clip is molded, you can see how it achieves this by leaving a gap between the clip on the lid and the corresponding section on the base. Absolute genius, I really like that. But of course, when you're working with dado trunking, it's as much about the accessories as it is the trunking itself. The external and internal 90 degree bends come in two parts, which means that they can be adjusted just in case the walls that you're taking the trunking around are not perfectly square. Looking at the flat angle and T connectors, you can see some further nice features. In the right angle here, the separating partitions continue around the bend to maintain segregation of different voltage bands and are molded in such a way that any cables installed can maintain the correct bending radius and that includes data cables such as CAT6 and 6A cable and you can do the same in the T-junction as well. And speaking of that T-junction, there's a piece that sits inside here and maintains the segregation where the cables may need to cross over each other to get to the right compartment. You can see that the cables can run over and under there. And then when the lid goes on, it just overlaps the lid, it just clips into place here. And you can see that that overlap means that you don't have to have additional joints between the connectors and the trunking, which gives a neat, smooth, professional looking finish. Some nice optional extras to look at now. First of all, you've got this steel screen divider that sits in the trunking here between the sections and helps to reduce electromagnetic interference between mains and data cables. And again, we see that great thought process of making electricians' lives easier. It's pre-punched with holes that line up with the knockouts in the trunking. And these can just be bent out and snapped off giving easy access for the data cables to drop into boxes in the main section. And it also has these connection tabs here that can just be bent up and the right type of crimp pressed on to make a good earth connection. Another nice accessory is the takeoff adapter that allows you to connect a piece of conduit or mini trunking to the dado system neatly and easily. This flat section on top can be drilled giving a solid connection point for a conduit adapter. Or if you look inside here, you can see there's guides for cutting out so that it sits around different sizes of mini trunking. And then that simply clips onto the top there, allowing access for trunking or conduit. And then finally, there's this RCD DIN rail kit. This metal part here, this just sits in the back of the dado trunking there. And then you've got a choice of two frames to sit over it. So that just clips on nice and easily. And then you can connect an outgoing circuit and pop the lid on. So that would be perfect for something like a laboratory or maybe an educational installation. I'm sure you'll agree that the Marco Elite Compact Trunking System from Atcor is great looking, innovative and adaptable, and it's made in the UK. In short, it's the trunking system you should probably be using 
on your next installation. Thank you very much for watching.